Hey guys, welcome back to my adventures in sewing. Uh, today I'm gonna be recovering this mattress right here. Um, we're just gonna be updating the style, uh, the fabric, and um, we're actually gonna stick with the foam that's already in here. Um, I decided with my neighbor that we'll go ahead and uh, reuse this foam because as you can see, there's no discoloration, there's no mold, and it's uniformly uh, wide throughout the length of the uh, cushion, which indicates that it hasn't really bottomed out or lost its integrity in, in some points uh, rather than others. Um, I've become a little bit obsessed with foam over uh, the last month. I've done a lot of research and um, I've kind of stocked our local fabric store. Um, I go there pretty much every time I order a new time of, type of foam, I'll go and make sure I remember how it feels and I'll, I'll layer some foams on top of the other and then I'll sit on them or lay on them. And uh, I've also uh, ordered a lot of samples of my own. So I have a growing pile of foam in our work shed, which Jordan is a little bit concerned about, but I'm learning a lot. And um, the real purpose of all this uh, research is to be able to um, create the best quality products that I can when uh, I get new, uh, new bids for jobs. So um, I really wanna be able to stand behind my work. So I can tell from my research and all of my foam squishing over the past month that this is uh, a lower quality fir uh, foam as far as fo foam goes. Um, and the way I can tell that is um, by judging its uh, density. So density is the first way to judge the quality of a foam. And uh, the way that it's measured is in uh, pounds per cubic foot. So you take a cubic foot of foam and then you measure uh, how much it weighs. And higher quality foams are usually uh, higher density. So they're anywhere from two or three or above. And uh, if you're gonna be making like a new sofa, for uh, your living room in a place where there's gonna be high use and when you're gonna be sitting on the foam in certain spots rather than laying on it, um, you really wanna go with a density that's, that's very high. Um, this foam is, like I said, probably about a 1.8 uh, lower quality uh, foam as far as its density, um, but it's not going to get that much use. His son stays with him um, a couple days out of the week, and when he does use it, he's going to be laying down, so his weight's going to be evenly distributed. So we're going to stick with this foam. Um, the other thing I can tell from touching this foam is it's uh, ILD or IFD and that stands for indentation force deflection or indentation load deflection and that's a measure of how firm the foam is um, and we recognize that as soft, medium soft, medium, medium firm and firm um, and quantitatively that's a measure of how much weight it takes to compress a foam by 25% so that you can compare one foam to another. Um, this is a, like I said, it's so squishy you can tell it has an IFD that's relatively low. So this is probably a 30, uh, a firm is probably more like 50 or 60. Um, and uh, some people also layer their cushions, so maybe you'll have like a softer layer of foam on the top so that you get the experience of falling, so like squishing into something, um, but then you can, uh, you can complement that by putting a, a more higher, uh, sorry, a firmer foam on the bottom. Um, okay, so also moving on, this is a new design of, fo of a cushion cover that I've seen. And uh, to be honest, before I started sewing, I never really paid attention uh, to cushion covers, but I wanted to get your guys' opinion if, you, if you're familiar with design, this design, and if you uh, know what the pros and cons of this kind of design would be. Um, uh, what's, what's interesting about it is that it's one big plate. So this is one plate of fabric, and then each corner is made just by folding in onto itself and then sewing it together. And then there's one bottom plate, um, and then uh, it's connected with the top plate through one universal seam. And then the zipper is actually placed on the bottom right here. Um, the way that I've learned to make cushions is with a top plate and a bottom plate and then four uh, boxing plates for the sides. And then I've usually uh, uh, just sewn the, um, the zippers into one of the, the boxing plates. And that's just because that's what I learned how to do on sale, right? But I'm curious to see what the, what the benefit of this kind of design is. Off the top of my head, I could tell, you know, there's not many seams, so maybe it looks nicer, more subtle. Um, it, it's really cool that you don't see the zipper when this is totally zipped up. Um, I'm not sure what the con of that design would be. 
Um, so I'm gonna research that a little bit more before going ahead and changing my design. But I do like that. Uh, I like that it's on the side and you can't see it. Um, anyways, that's pretty much my day today. I'm gonna be hanging out in the captain's lounge. I got my sewing machine over there um, and my hot knife right here water bottle, I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, new epiphanies about foam, or if you're similarly fascinated by foam, please shoot me a message, because I would love to talk about latex, foam, um, and a couple of other things that I've been researching. So anyways, hope you guys are doing great, have a great day, and take care.